Miguel Uderati back here at the iBob Vaults and we're going to get right into a boxing video blog. We've got uh, June 6th coming up here. Big weekend for boxing. You've got obviously on HBO the big Miguel Cotto fight against Daniel Giel. Um, and, but going head to head against them on, on NBC is the premier boxing champions uh, uh, broadcast. And they put together a great card out at the StubHub Center in California. Let's take a look at this. You got a uh, world featherweight, WBA world featherweight title uh, on the line between veteran Victor Chinian and Jesus Marcelo Andres Cuellar. Uh, I'm going to call him Jesus Marcelo here, but uh, uh, 26 and 1, the kid facing Darchinian. Darchinian's looked a little long in the tooth in some of his recent outings. Um, I expect when the line comes up for this fight that uh, Cuellar will be at least uh, a, little, a slight favor. Heading into the undercards, now you got a couple of guys that are just beginning to rehab their names or coming back from, you know, big losses and stuff. Um, you know, maybe jumping a level in fighters and uh, they need, just need to get back on the winning track. So I expect these lines to come in real wide. But the, the, what you got at welterweight is you got Robert Guerrero, the ghost, coming back to face Aaron Martinez. Martinez, 19-3-1, really not, not his resume like the ghost Guerrero. And... Uh, Guerrero still just three losses on his career is probably looking at rehabbing and getting back into a big money fight. It's a 10 rounder, so this isn't it for him. I look for him to be a you know four figure favorite in this one. Um, similar situation I think with middleweight uh, in the middleweight division when you got Alfredo Angulo here 22 and five. Uh, Angulo's really looked slow in some of his fights, though he's been fighting frontline guys and um, people have been you know kind of worried about him getting taking damage and stuff here. I don't know if that'll be the case in this fight. Fighting Del Rey Reigns. Reigns a veteran, 19 and 10 uh, overall record. Um, so I look for Angulo who's trying to get back on the winning track there. You got some other interesting card fights on the card. Another featherweight fight, uh, Marvin Sonsana uh, fighting Jonathan Ariano. Um, look for Sonsana to get the big favorite uh, at the lines there. Uh, undefeated heavyweights in a 10 rounder. This is an interesting one. Uh, Dominic Brazil. 14-0 against Yasmani Consuegra, 17-0. That one um, may be fun to watch. And then at welterweight, it just got six fights, but you got uh, the younger brother of Mar Marcos Maidana here. It's Fabian Maidana, and he's fighting Julius Diss. So he's 6-0 right now, and we'll see if he makes it to the level his brother did. But uh, I think it's an exciting little card that the – the big card rather that the premier boxing champions has got put together here we'll see what airs and what doesn't what airs on it doesn't air on nbc should pop up on nbc sports so there's a lot to offer there and to be quite honest with you although you got Cotto and Giel on hbo um the undercard they're playing just doesn't compare to this this is a much uh more well-rounded card for the boxing fan talk to you guys active